the corn, offering the climbing bean vine support as they reach for sunlight. The beans then send nitrogen back into the soil, fertilizing the corn and squash. While the squash's broad, spiny leaves protect the bean plants from predatory animals. What a perfect combination. And the centerpieces give me the perfect lead-in to talk about my sisters and makes me pause to wonder which one I am. <laughs> Sandy and Ginny, where you at? Stand up, please. There we go. <clears throat> so I wonder, am I the supportive corn, the protecting squash, or the bean full of monarchy, malarkey that feeds the others? <laughs> Well, my sisters, Sandy and Jen, have been supporting me in this venture from my beginning idea way back in 2013. They have protected me from doubt when I met obstacles that seemed almost unsurmountable. So I guess that means I am the one full of hogwash that keeps this through the stones garden growing. Thank you, Sandy and Jen, for always supporting me and loving me in spite of my shortcomings. I appreciate you and I love you both very much. <clears throat> Honestly, I have needed that support this year especially because preparing for Through the Stones 2021 has been quite different from the first three conventions. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I planned this weekend for three years during a time of great uncertainty in our world and had to rethink nearly everything. But during this time of uncertainty, there was always one thing I was sure of, and that was of you, my Through the Stones family. I had faith that you all knew it was time to be together again. Thank you for having faith in me and my vision. It was time to celebrate our shared love of Outlander. After months of seclusion, it was time to live again. And here we are, enjoying this moment, those few precious hours together. Let this moment, this weekend, this gathering of friends be cemented in your memories. After all, we will never be able to go back and do it again. Life is a one-shot deal, and we must embrace it as it happens. In addition to Sandy and Jen, I must say a well-earned thank you to the rest of my staff, my niece Becky, you can stand up and wave ladies, my friend Julie, my daughter in love Emily, my friend Heather, and friend Christine. Thank you all very much, ladies. Also, I must not forget my photographers, Christine and Morgan. Thank you so much for capturing our moments this weekend. And of course, Kevin, my MC, who I couldn't do without. Thank you. My sons, Eric and Greg, and my granddaughter, Hadley, are not quite here yet. They'll be here this evening. But I want to say a loud shout out to the universe. Thank you for your love and support, and that I love you, Eric, Greg, and Hadley. This year, it seems, I must say an extra special thank you to my husband. Dan has been the main one to listen to my worries, talk me through the difficulties, celebrate with my successes, and allow me to vent my frustrations in my moments of darkness. And yes, there were a few moments of darkness, even with a few tears, as I wondered if TTS 21 would actually take place. But I decided to push on and push through, and yes, I am a pusher. Dan allowed me to push us both through this difficult three years of convention prep. Everybody knows where Dan's at right there. <clears throat> at first, I only asked Dan to build me a campfire for the front stage. That was in the beginning. Soon I needed a bookshelf for Beardsley's, and I wanted display crates and stands. Next, I asked for a couple of ottomans, and then a privy of all things. You'll see that tonight. 
Finally, I requested very meekly, because I was about out of requests, <laughs> a doghouse to collect items for the Humane Society. Dan just kept building and building and building. Then all this week, he's picked up materials, moved equipment, loaded and then unloaded traders, trailers and trucks full of supplies. And he will reload and unload them again tomorrow. He has truly been my rock during this challenging time and he deserves a huge round of applause and a public thank you, Dan. Finally, and most importantly, I want to thank you for trusting in me and coming this weekend. I honestly don't know if there'll be another Through the Stones in two years, but I hope so. We'll just have to wait and see if there are too many fiery crosses thrown at me and the world, and if I am able to rise to the challenge of hosting another. Either way, know that you fill my heart, today and always. You will always forever be part of my extended family. Again, thank you for coming, and please enjoy the rest of your day. My love to you all.